yeah, we're gonna start with the presentation. The topics of today's uh, coffee lectures are how to prepare your files for the upload in the research collections, as well as some input on how to choose file formats for publishing your research data. First, a short introduction on the ETH research collection for those who don't know it yet. It's our one-stop shop for depositing all your research output. This uh, encompasses publications as well as research data and metadata entries uh, for research output published elsewhere. It offers a web upload as well as DOI reservation and registration for your publications. It's integrated with ORCID and uh, you can export your uh, publications to open air. It's also integrated with the ETH data archive for long-term preservation. The research collection is aligned with the FAIR principles according to the SNSF guidelines. What does the research collection offer for research data? You can publish, share, or archive research data, as well as supplement, um, as supplementary material linked to a journal article or similar, or also just as a standalone publication. We allow all file formats, but we do make recommendations for suitable formats. More on this later. Um, the maximum file size is uh, 10 gigabytes, and you shouldn't upload more than 50 gigabytes per entry in the research collection. Please contact us for larger data sets. The research collection is free service for ETH members. Okay, first we recommend you to document your data before you upload this. Um, this should, it should include a readme, but uh, it's also helpful to use informative file and folder names and include as much metadata as necessary for other people to reuse your data. It can be helpful to link it to an article or other publication using the related publication and data sets functionality of the research collection. A very important point to consider is uh, our legal aspects of your data. You should clarify this before publishing your data. This includes stuff like uh, third party rights to your data, copyright issues, but also issues of data protection, like uh, or is there any personal information or confidentiality agreements, um, if there's anything that uh, prevents your publication, as well as patenting issues. There are different services at ETH and at the ETH library which can help you with those questions. When uploading your data, you need to select a license. We recommend um, thinking about which license to use beforehand. We recommend using a Creative Commons license for data. Creative Commons licenses are a legal tool that lets you define what other users are allowed to do with the work that you have published, open access, for example, a data set. Why should you apply a Creative Commons license to your work? Because if you do not use a Creative Commons or similar license when publishing your work, other users will have only very limited possibilities to use your data that you made available to them. Basically, in such a case, the end user would need to re rely on what the copyright law, for example, in Switzerland, allows them to reuse. Whereas works published with the Creative Commons license can be reused as specified in the license. During reviews, we do notice that a lot of people don't edit their data before publication. Um, so this, so you should do remove 
temporary and backup files, remove duplicate files, rename files and folders were helpful, remove third-party files and software for which you don't have permission to publish it, and also check for hard-coded file paths, symbolic links or references. You shouldn't include your manuscript as usually this uh, will be published using a difference license and might include copyrighted material from the publisher. It's also very helpful to spell check your text files like you read me as uh, we won't do this for you after the upload. In general, a good folder structure and regular cleanup should ideally already be part of the data management process. General recommendations for file formats. This is very difficult for us to give you general recommendations as this is very domain specific. We can just recommend using open standards and avoiding proprietary and undocumented file types, as those can be, dif be difficult to reuse. Data in the research collection is deposited in the ETH data archive. For long-term preservations, you should only use the formats recommended by them. And convert other formats in the recommended ones. You can find a list as well as suggested um, conversions in our manual at the link provided. If you do not use a recommended formats, long-term readability cannot be guaranteed. So when you edited your files for the upload, then uh, you should think about packaging your files. So if you only have a few single files, you can upload them directly in the research collection. For larger collections of files in folder structures, they can be packaged in a container format like zip or tar. Please only use recommended standard container formats like those zip or tar files and preferably use uncompressed zip files. You might, if really necessary, use a deflate algorithm as that is a recommended standard. Do not use encryption or passwords for any files you upload. So we come to the takeaway of this uh, short coffee lecture what to consider before and during publication of your data. We really recommend you to think about which data you want to be published, check for legal and ethical compliance, edit your data, select well-supported formats, and remove any unnecessary files. It's also very helpful to link the data to your publication and cite its DOI.